I've recently been talking a lot about Overman, my recent views of Justice League Infinity, where Overman appears as a minor antagonist. Carl Kent in the mainstream comics is even more of a pain in the neck, first appearing in Animal Man issue 23 in 1990. Yes, his first appearance is in Animal Man comics, not Superman, not Justice League, not Elseworlds, but Animal Man. Although to be fair, Animal Man in the 90s was giving a lot of the whole multiverse crap with the Phantom Stranger and Psycho Pirate, so it's believable that Overman would first appear there. The origin in the 90s is really confusing. In a flashback from Psycho Pirate, we see Overman as a darker alternate version of Superman, who died during Crisis on Infinite Earths. But he didn't. He did in Crisis after Crisis, <laughs> despite no one remembering it by su but Psycho Pirate. Am I the only one confused by this? He dies in Crisis post-crisis, because pre-crisis, he didn't die in crisis. <laughs> it's kind of like a paradox type deal, but it's not really explained. He's just there who dies. It's very um confusing. I mean, I think I get it, but I'm still confused. And maybe I'm just stupid, but is anyone else confused? Because I'm really, really confused. <laughs> And that would be it for about 17 years. In 2007, we see an evil Superman named Overman who appears in Countdown to Adventures, who's presented as blonde and acts very similar, or seemingly similar to Bizarro, with the whole hand being a stu with being stupid deal. I mean, the other version of him is stupid too, because he's a ratsy, but this version has seemingly forgot how to talk, like I do in most videos. But, um, he talks in a way that is very, um, Bizarro-like, and I'm wondering maybe that this is meant to be an alternate version of Bizarro and not Superman, but yet again, it's never stated if he's either Superman or Bizarro. He just appears to look like Superman, but talks like Bizarro. He doesn't have that whole gray, deformed look. Perhaps he's more of an advanced Bizarro from an alternate universe, but I didn't catch that. Instead, he's just there. After Final Crisis, a title that is definitely full of lies, Overman would appear again and would be given an origin story that involves him now being a Nazi, while well, previous version is he was just evil Superman. This Overman would be from Earth-10 and his rocket would land in Southern Land 1938. He would be raised by Nazi scientists into believing their values. When he would be older, he would become Overman, leading his own Nazi version of the Justice League and a female clone of himself, who would be named Overgirl, and is probably even more popular than he is at this point. During the hell that it is of the destruction of the multiverse, again, well, almost again, Overgirl would go missing until she was found later dead, which would emotionally break Overman. Overman, along with the not just the post-rebirth, appeared in the 2018 Freedom Fighters miniseries along with, as a long-running antagonist. But despite his role... He doesn't do anything notable at all. He's just there giving off boring speeches. Personally, I don't think there's anything special about Overman. There's plenty of Evil Superman. I'm currently reading about another comic that is both Evil Superman that is Ultraman. There's also Superman Red Sun, Bizarro, Injustice Superman, two Cyborg Supermen, Son of X's. And by making Overman a Nazi, you completely throw out the possibility, possibility of making him empathetic out the window. Well, Injustice Superman is a character you love to hate. Well, Overman himself never appeared in adaptations as clone Overgirl did. Overgirl would take a lot from his character when she appeared in the Arrowverse. This time, she was the leader of her own Justice League, although they weren't called that because of mandates and stuff, being the main villains of Crisis on Earth X, along with being a villain in the Supergirl finale and appearing in the animated race show, which created a lot of continuity errors between Crisis on Earth X and that show. For example... There's two different versions of Nazi Oliver Queen. There's Black Arrow and there's Dark Arrow, who were meant to be the same character, but later became separate characters. <laughs> there was also a Nazi Flash on the show, but no, there was no Nazi Flash in the crossover. It was Reverse Flash in the crossover. And that's it for Overman. And Overgirl, technically, because she didn't appear much in comics either. Except for the part where she showed up and died. Overall, I think Overman, like I said, isn't the most interesting evil version of Superman. There are a lot more interesting evil Supermen. Personally, my favorite is Injustice Superman. 
as he shows a lot of the qualities of that makes Superman a great hero, but it shows as he goes down a darker path after he accidentally kills Lois Lane. It's a great comic. You should go read it. Well, Overman, in my opinion, is in no capacity empathetic. He is a Nazi. He is not an empathetic character in any capacity. He's just someone you really want to see die. <laughs> Which he doesn't really do much, unfortunately. Except for when he randomly disappears from the multiverse. It's very confusing in the multiverse. I think Overman is an okay villain for the Freedom Fighters. Because... I like the Freedom Fighters, and if they're going to appear more, Overman, I think, is an okay villain for them. But I don't find him interesting. <laughs> I think that's the problem, is I just don't find him interesting. Which could just be my opinion, because there's a lot of characters I just genuinely don't like. For example, there's a character named Arion that a lot of people like, but I just don't. I've always really disliked him. And I think that's the same thing with Overman. A lot of people are pushing him to appear in the crossover appearance in the Arrowverse. I just didn't care. I felt his character is very unlikable, which is very much the purpose for his character. He's meant to be an unlikable Superman. But he's not unlikable like in Justice version of him. He's unlikable in the version of that you just want him to die. <laughs> but that's my opinion on him. What do you think of Overman? Do you like him? Do you hate him? If you like him, uh, why? <laughs> why do you like a Nazi Superman? <laughs> I mean, I hope you like him as a villain, not as values, because <laughs> I don't tolerate that crap. Also, that's a joke. I don't, I'm not accusing you, any of you of being um, racist. That was a complete joke. Anyways, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.